Derek Wano well, open workout today. It's cold outside. Shit. I'm cold. I don't want to do no more. Won't that warm you up though? Getting active? No, nah, I don't feel like going for one day. I don't like going for one day. I know you're a Houston guy, Rockets guy, what's it like being on the <laughs> Knicks floor right here? Oh, I just not noticed the Knicks uh, symbol right now. I was just paying attention to it. But I guess it's pretty cool. You know, I was on the Rockets floor a couple of times already, so it's just it's normal to go. How's your b-ball skills? Can you dunk? Yes, yeah, so I'll get down to 6th Street. Average point ball height. So, um, yeah, I can dunk. We're going to have to see it after this, then. I don't know. <laughs> Derek, can you bring your wife to me today tomorrow just so we can maybe really talk to her and ask her about something like that you've been with me? No, no, yeah, no. My wife don't want, she's just like me. She don't want the attention. She don't want to be in front of the cameras. But she's, she supports you. She supports you. Include, including uh, some, of your, uh, some of your comments? Especially some of your comments? No, she don't like none of my comments down there. But she understands my, my sense of humor. What's what's the secret to a happy marriage, Derek? Um, well, we've been together for ten years. We've been married over a year now. Um, just really have fun. Don't have no don't have no secrets or nothing like that. Just be open with each other. Be honest. You know, and, um, just be there for one another whenever um, you need. Whenever they need. What's the most media you've done for fighting? So you've been here for a few days already, right, in New York? Yeah, I got here. This is the most media you've done before a fight? No. No? The last fight was so a lot more. Really? A lot crazy. Probably because it's kind of... Uh, is it a little bit surreal to you that we're actually here? And this is happening, you're fighting for the title on Saturday, you know, so 28 days after your last one? Yes, it is. It is kind of crazy that it is happening. But, you know, um, I'm really just going into it like it's another fight. You know, I'm not no mixed martial artist or nothing like that, so I don't, so I, I know y'all guys don't expect me to come in here and try to get some crazy submissions or be real technical or what. You're going to get what you've been seeing. It's just going to be all hard. How are you feeling right now? I'm you? feeling a lot good. Yeah. I'm feeling a lot better than I did my last fight right now. You're not worn down from the three hours of training every day? Um, I actually, um, two, I was like, two days I needed some rest. So I will go down. But I'm feeling a lot better than that. Does it feel like that last fight was just four weeks ago? Or does it feel like it was a longer time ago? Um, it felt like it was yesterday. Really? It's yeah. been like a whirlwind since then? Like, yeah, it's been, been crazy. Yeah. So I really haven't had any time to um, rest besides the last two days. Is that a, a good in, in some ways? Maybe? Oh, uh, we'll see. Sure. I, I never trained that hard before after a fight, so we'll see. Do you need to just go lie on a beach somewhere when this is done? Or <laughs> was it nah, I just probably take my family. I'm thinking about going to a Disney cruise. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. so I think I have the money to pay for it after this one. You're looking up pretty lean. Is this the best shape you've been in going into a, a fight? Um, I think I was leaner when I made my debut. And you'll see that you uh, but I was leaning before early in my career. In the UFC, this is probably my second lean. So, second fight. You said you've got the money now. Are there, are there major purchases you're making? I mean, what are you, what are you spending it on? Oh, nothing. I'm really just saving it. Really want to invest in a uh, uh, green stock. So, we're looking at investing in green stock and Chick fil A. <laughs> so, the only thing about Chick fil A. I'm, I'm a Christian, believe it or not, but I know you got to be a Christian, you got to be in church and stuff like that. And there's some other crazy stuff you have to, to be a part of to, um, to have an investment in something like that, a franchise. You mentioned uh, in your post-fight interview that you didn't feel like you're ready for a title shot. Ideally, when would you have liked to have your title shot? Did you want to have a few more fights, ideally before getting it? And do you feel like you're ready for it now? Um, at first, whenever I first said that, it was like I didn't want to train hard for them five round fight, but I knew how hard I would have to train even way, way harder than what I did before, and I didn't feel like doing all that right after a fight like that. And so whenever they offered me the money that they offered me, then it was like it was like you said, but okay, yeah, I could do this. Do you think it's guaranteed? So there's no sweat off my back, so it's going to be a real good fight. So. 
I'm going to go in there and try to end it real quick. If not, then if I lose, that's fine. I still get the money. <laughs> well, DC said earlier this week that he heard that Brock Lesnar is going to be in attendance on Saturday. <clears throat> if you win, would you welcome him into the octagon and do, do a face off as you begin to that? Oh, I don't care about that Brock Lesnar. I'm um, more interested to see if um, that one guy is going to be there that was from um, Galaxy. Um, oh, yeah. Chris Pratt. Yeah, Chris oh, Pratt. Chris Pratt. That'd be <laughs> cool. <laughs> Yeah, so I seen his reaction after I knocked the guy out, so that was cool. Maybe DM him on Instagram. Uh, no, I don't do DM. <laughs> It's a little bit crazy how much attention one comment about your balls like, has got. Like, it's been mind-blowing, the attention on that one line. Um, I'm always saying crazy things, and it is crazy about my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I guess people really believe my balls is that high. Yeah. I didn't know Joe Rogan was going to ask me that. I took my shorts off to throw it into the crowd. So that's the reason why I did it. But he asked me that, and I was like, I didn't know what else to say. You're saying your balls are not actually that hot? It was. We've been living a lie for the last four years. You know, I know you play with your balls sometimes. <laughs> and you know that one feeling like between your butthole and your ball that's always cold. So your balls really never that hot. Two more questions, Derek. What's your guys' following jump after that comment? That was probably like 700,000. How do you decide what you're going to put on your IG? Well, it's a variety. This is just whatever I think is interesting to me or funny to me. Uh, you, said, you said you don't DM other people. What do your DMs look like when you open up that folder on Instagram? What do people send you? I say something about that last time more if they like it. So I'm not <laughs> saying that about this time. My DMs are clean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get no dick pics or nothing like that. <laughs> That's what you're asking. <laughs> 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 Thank Where you. are the shorts now? Who has the shorts now? The shorts from the Volkov fight. I don't know. I threw them in the cross. Oh. <laughs> I always throw my gloves, my shirt, shorts, whatever, in the crowd because I really don't care about this. I know the fans do, but I don't. What are you going to do with the belt? I would throw it in, my, in the crowd too after I win, <laughs> but I know my coach would like it. <laughs> Do you think uh, Daniel's uh, taking you seriously going into this fight? And do you think everyone always asking him about John Jones, Brock Lesnar, sort of looking into his next fight is a bit of a mistake for his, on his part? Oh, I don't care if he's taking me serious or not. Um, I know I am. Um, I'm pretty sure somewhat he's taking it serious because uh, the reason why I think he took the fight with me is because John Jones was already fighting in November. And so that he didn't want to fight waiting until January and hear all the media talk about, okay, why is Cormier not fighting for 205 belt? And they're already saying that he's basically scared to fight Jones right now anyway. And so he he feel like that it would be perfect to fight a guy like me that don't have as much skills or what. And on short notice, before the Jones fight, and so he could really think it's going to be an easy fight for him. So it's good. You think he's ready to fight Jones? <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to fight Jones. Yeah, I beat him twice. Okay, guys, thank you. Thanks, sir. Thanks, Thanks, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it.